Hey guys, what's up? Brent Kalmar from Blue Water VST. Those of you in the Reactor community are undoubtedly familiar with Twisted Tools and their awesome ensembles for Reactor. Their newest, of course, is Slayer, which is a sample layering instrument that allows you to do all sorts of wild and wonderful stuff with your samples and with the samples that ship with it. In short, it allows you to pile up samples, layer them one on top of another, and create all sorts of interesting one-shots and, and textures and just about anything else. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, take advantage of some of the excellent third-party content that has been created for for Slayer. Now of course you'll need to log into your Twisted Tools account to do this. So uh, I've logged in here and I'm going to go to product downloads, click on that, and then I'm going to go to the Slayer sampler right here. And Once I do that I will have two different options. Now the first of which is a uh, just the download of of Slayer itself, the most recent version which is 1.1.1, but there's also this user content tab if I click on this, I have a variety of options. Uh, the Touch OSC templates, we have Lemur templates, we have uh, sample content from Jim Hurley, uh, Behringer BCR template from Carl Skakal, and at the bottom here is the one I'm going to download, which is a, the Slayer Stinger Analog Map and uh, and Snapshots from Digimunk. And Digimunk is a sound designer based in Shanghai, and this is one of the things that is so cool about Reactor and electronic music in general is that. I'm here in the DC area of the United States and a sound designer in Shanghai has gone to the trouble and created this really awesome content and uploaded it to Twisted Tools and now I'm going to take advantage of it for, for free. So thank you Digimunk. Uh, in any case, I've already downloaded this. So you'll want to download it just by clicking anywhere on this link. And then we'll go back into Reactor and take a look at how to load both the map and the snapshots. We'll do that next. Great, so now I'm back in Reactor. I've loaded up Slayer. And of course, with Slayer loads both its sample map and its uh, and its own snapshots. So, and they're very generous, by the way. If you haven't navigated through all these, check them out because it's a very diverse group. Uh, one shots. We have kits. We have artist snapshots from uh, just all sorts of super talented people. What I want to do, however, is swap out both the sample map that is used by default in Slayer and also the snapshots, so that I'm using both. Uh, Digimunk's sample map and a snapshot. So I'm going to come up to the waveform display here. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go, go open map editor. And then you see in the uh, in the sample map viewing area down here, which I've toggled on with this waveform display, I see all the samples. And these are kind of the best of the best from Twisted Tool Sounds, their various micro kits and so forth. And and of course, I should say that you have to have the edit mode activated to to access these options. You'll notice that when I activate that, only then do I get the uh, waveform display editor or the sample map editor toggle here. So make sure you have that active. And so what I want to do here is load the uh, the Stinger map. So I'm going to go load map and select the Stinger analog map and then open. And when I do that, now you see this list has changed and these are now Digimunk samples. Very explosive kind of aggressive FX type samples, uh, great for kind of movie scoring, video game type stuff. Uh, very big, huge, explosive sounds. So now I have the samples in here, and now what I want to do is is load the snapshots that Digimunk has designed to go with this. What I'm going to do here is use my user bank. Now there are a variety of options that I could use here. I could go come up to, in my snapshots tab, I could come up to edit this edit drop down and go new bank and create a new bank for me to use. Uh, I could clone this bank, I could you know, initialize a bank, do any of these other things. But what I'm going to do is just use this user bank, which I haven't really used yet. And I am going to go load bank, and I've already navigated to this uh, St Stinger Analog folder. I'm going to click on Stinger Analog SSF, open that, and now you'll see that uh, Digimunk's samples, or his snapshots are in here. So if I click on, say, Warped Ricochet, that is just wicked. Great ghost. And this is seriously value-added stuff. I mean, not only are the samples enormous, uh, but these snapshots are really great at bringing out all of the different textures that they have to offer. So that is how to load both sample maps and the snapshot content from the user content in Slayer, which undoubtedly is going to be growing uh, through the months to come as more people discover this awesome instrument and start creating 
uh, sample packs and, and sample maps and snapshots for them. Uh, but once again, thanks to all of you who are out there contributing to this. Thanks especially to Digimonk in Shanghai. Um, great work on this. This is awesome. A lot of people are going to love using this. And once again, thanks to Twisted Tools. Okay, so that's it for this time, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Talk to you again soon. Thank <laughs> you.